what is the role of metro bundler in react native so metro bundler is just like uh, uh, first uh, when we run the app start it and then uh, like bundler uh, when we open it in android or ios like uh, pressing a or i so uh, bundler will uh, like uh, uh, it will bundle and app will uh, like it takes uh, time to uh, loading like uh, when it is 100 percent bundled then app will be displayed so basically the bridging itself like uh, what we uh, like uh, uh, javascript code is converted to a uh, native uh, uh, module so that uh, bundler takes time to um, load it and uh, we can display the uh, in our emulator or physical devices as we want so. okay So, how do you implement platform specific style for iOS and Android? So, we have platform from React Native. We import a, a, a platform. So, if uh, we want to specifically um, make any changes to iOS or Android, we can make it conditional based. Like, if platform equal to equal to iOS, then we can uh, style it differently. Or if it is Android, uh, we can uh, add it conditionally. So platform we can uh, get from react native okay how do you manage global themes in react native application uh, sorry how do you manage global themes in react native application? global things we can like uh, manage the state globally using redux uh, that is more uh, optimized uh, but for uh, small applications we can also use context api uh, to uh, like uh, uh, manage the state globally like we can change it uh, uh, like we can store the state at one place and we can use it in any of the screens possible. So we can use context API or Redux. Okay. How do you optimize uh, least performance in uh, React Native? Uh, sorry, uh, list performance. Yeah. So we can use uh, use a lazy loading method. Like uh, if there is very huge amount of data uh, we are rendering on uh, in the list. So uh, it's not recommended to use a scroll view or uh, like uh, those kind of list uh, which will uh, have huge amount of data because it will render all the data at once. But lazy loading techniques like flat list, we will like uh, whatever we see on the screen of the uh, phone, that th that much data only loads up at once. While we scroll up, the uh, remaining data gets loaded. So it will optimize the speed and uh, uh, like performance of the application. Okay. How do you handle API pagination in React Native app? Uh, pagination, yeah, we have uh, one prop uh, uh, render uh, uh, like uh, in the uh, pagination we can implement like uh, uh, using that uh, flat list itself. Uh, like uh, we can add the load, uh, loader also like uh, uh, if there is huge amount of data by scrolling up uh, it will reach to the last so we can add uh, uh, throttle is there and then uh, uh, we have uh, threshold value also we can add and uh, 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 implement pagination using uh, there is one uh, prop inside uh, flatlist we can uh, implement that using render uh, pagination yeah have you used i'm not getting exactly uh, yeah, ah, yeah sorry so, yeah pagination means uh, uh, you do you know what is pagination so in multiple yes pages, yes yeah, yeah. yes Yes, so uh, yeah, uh, page wise it should uh, display like uh, one to uh, like that. So, uh, I, 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 like currently I'm not getting the exact like code snippet, but uh, like uh, I have implemented it uh, several times. Okay, how do you handle um, errors in React Native? Uh, so we uh, like if any API calls that we are doing uh, when we are fetching something, so we keep it inside uh, try catch block. So inside catch, we can alert the error messages or uh, like if uh, some API is failing, say, so we can like get the response. If response.data or uh, if we are getting success, uh, uh, response.data 200, then we can uh, display the data. At else, we can uh, log the error message uh, in the catch block. Uh, so uh, we'll get to know the exact cause of error. So we can even alert it if we are getting some error. Okay. What is the difference between promise and async await? Sorry, uh, asynchronous and? Async await and promise. Uh, for make. Promise, promise. Promise, okay. Promises are like, it is also used for uh, 
asynchronous pulse only uh, uh, async await we can use uh, like for a uh, synchronous operations or we can use promises promises are like uh, we can create uh, uh, some variable equal to new promise and there will be uh, we have reject resolve or the, the pending state so uh, once uh, like a uh, promise is resolved then uh, like it it also helps to achieve the asynchronous operations in uh, react native applications uh, promises also yeah. okay how do you build uh, a react native app for ios so we uh, use xcode for that like uh, first we will uh, uh, like uh, uh, first we will uh, same code base will be there then uh, we will install the pods like if we will only in, uh, install npm i npm install then it will be packages uh, all will be installed for uh, like just for androids for ios we need to make uh, make sure that pod we have installed and after that in info.plist all the things uh, necessary like permissions and all we can add up and then in xcode we can uh, uh, like uh, open the workspace uh, where uh, there we can uh, build it and uh, run it so yeah so in uh, there are uh, which one generally open in ios there are one workspace and one x workspace two folder are created which one x, you? x workspace okay what about the other one uh, so there is one more like uh, yeah x workspace we generally open like uh, okay. it directly opens up the uh, like uh, okay. ios application okay so. have you implemented analytics in react native app yes Okay. So in Firebase console. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and what, what is the state? Have you used any state management library? Uh, which which library? State management. Yeah, yeah, I have used. Which one you use? So, like use state, use effect, all those things, na? No, I am asking state management. How you manage state? state management. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I have used uh, like Redux and all. I have used it for state management. Okay. Global state. Okay. So we have basically what? like uh, okay. we have yeah. You told global state. What is the difference between local state and global state in the React Native application? Uh, so local state uh, doesn't persist. Like if we have uh, changed the state uh, locally, if we are uh, uh, like uh, if we close the app and open again, it uh, the data will uh, we will lost. Uh, but globally, if we'll, we are managing the state, uh, we can uh, persist that data and use it anywhere inside the app. So uh, what happens is like uh, if uh, suppose locally we have to uh, handle some data, we can use use state also. We can uh, initialize the state, uh, say name and set name, and uh, initially we can set the value to empty string, and later we can set the state while user is uh, uh, say is typing some inside uh, something inside text input. So we can uh, grab that data. But if that data needs to be stored. Then we have to uh, uh, like implement either uh, we should store it in a uh, context API or or we can also use props. But uh, prop is like uh, creates uh, uh, like if we are passing the data over uh, other screens using props, then it will be uh, not optimized. Like uh, we have to prop drill like in each screen, each uh, child component, we should pass the prop. So that is not the uh, good method. We should either use Redux or Context API to okay. uh, persist that data and use it anywhere in that. How do you avoid unnecessary re-render caused by statement uh, updates in React Native? So we can use uh, uh, use callbacks or we can uh, like to memorize the functions or we can use use a memo use memo like if there is very expensive calculation if there is big calculation. Uh, we can use use memo hook so it will memorize the particular value and uh, first time when it renders it will uh, compute that after that it will memorize the value so we don't need to call it again and again okay how to manage state for a large form with the multiple fields in react native uh, sorry i didn't get you uh, large large form or filling a large form with multiple fields in React Native. How okay, can we can it? use formic and yup to handle the like validate the form, right? Yeah. We can use text input, uh, text inputs, or if there is a uh, like date picker, we can implement if there is date of birth, and uh, we can use formic. Uh, we can wrap it inside formic, and the uh, like we can uh, uh, 
uh, write all the cases uh, like um, uh, in, inside yep we can give the condition for which it should show the error so the uh, that uh, for me can yep is used for form validation while handle some error. what about managing states sorry managing, managing states. states yeah managing states uh Redux toolkit, Redux thunk, Redux saga, Redux persist. Those things are used for state management. Okay. Uh, Can you tell me the steps? Like there are multiple text fields are there. How will manage the states of multiple text fields while scrolling and managing the states? Okay. Yeah. So first we will uh, create for each one a use state. Let's say a name is there. So name, set name. Uh, sorry, const name, set name equal to use state of empty string uh, then uh, same for like email uh, phone number uh, for each uh, we will create use state uh, and we will initialize it with em empty uh, strings then uh, uh, like in text input we will set the value and on change text on on change text we will uh, uh, set the uh, that thing like uh, uh, set the name or some anything that we are changing inside uh, like set state and value and then uh, inside that uh, uh, value equal to uh, the use state when where it is initialized like name and set name so value equal to name and uh, uh, this thing uh, like uh, uh, in the handle uh, like we can pass any function inside the uh, on change text and on handle press it will like uh, when user is typing something that value will be get updated to the name so we will uh, store all the data in text input we will take the input from the user and then on handle submit we will uh, we can uh, dispatch that data same data okay <clears throat> how do you uh, implement code splitting in react native code splitting yeah so we can create custom components like uh, uh, like there is a screen uh, we can uh, create uh, components like we can break it into components and uh, like in different components, we can just render it like uh, to our screen, like uh, components. We can import the components, like say we created header component. So import header from uh, uh, like uh, the path we will give. And then uh, the same co component just will call. So it will be like header, footer and uh, like it will uh, make the app look cleaner and uh, like more optimized. Okay. What are the, some of the best practice in writing a maintainable React Native code? Uh, writing what? Uh, React Native code. Maintain. React Native code, yeah. Yeah, so we can uh, like um, use uh, responsive uh, stylings like uh, we can use uh, uh, flex and padding and uh, stuff we can give in percentage or we can use aspect ratio or uh, like we can uh, give uh, that position absolute or like uh, um, to make it more responsive and uh, uh, like we can uh, use those dimensions from react native to uh, just one second my laptop is not charged let me just connect and also optimized by uh, like uh, uh, there are certain libraries which uh, causes issues so uh, like we can uh, uh, handle the errors everywhere like throughout the application uh, so that uh, uh, it won't uh, like uh, we do that uh, like uh, anywhere app shouldn't crash and then uh, focus listeners we can add uh, uh, say uh, there are multiple API calls in the same screen then it will slow down the performance of the app so whenever it is needed we can uh, 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 add the listeners over there to optimize the apps and uh, yes to uh, like stop the uh, over and over again re-rendering of the uh, uh, we can use callbacks and uh, use memory hooks so yeah, these are the things we can do to optimize the application okay how can you implement localization react native app localize localization uh, supporting multiple languages okay 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 uh -huh. so we have that uh, 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 one package is there uh, translation uh, from uh, we can create like json files for each language like n.json for english uh, singapore.json uh, and we can 
uh, like uh, add i18 uh, and then uh, we can pass the uh, like uh, uh, the keys like keys should be same for each language say in english we have a name uh, and key should be same as uh, something n so in each language a key should be n so we will pass that key inside i18 and uh, uh, like we will install that package uh, translator uh, so it will take uh, value from the key and while changing the language we should implement that uh, it should take it from uh, those json files respective json files so that is how we can add languages okay